Good evening and salutations, my bow and beautiful fans. Oh my, who should I start off with first? Well, it's not really that much of a hard choice, there's really only two stories. And we'll start off with Hope and Thomas. <laughs> I have so many emotions. Seeing this episode, seeing this part, and first when Hope was like, tell me the story again. I'm going to hear it again. You want to what? <laughs> you want to <wanna> what? <laughs> we just heard the same story on Friday. Why are we doing this again? Why are we doing this again for boom? Okay, Thomas. Here the flashback. So he tells the story again. And she says that you chase after her. He didn't run her off the road. She just he just chased after her. Now he did sit there and say it was a point where she went to go try to get her phone. She must have missed a turn. And the car just went off the bank. But he still said she still sit there and say he chased after her. Now apparently in his version, they were both just trying to head to the same place. Yeah, because that, that didn't really make a lot of sense when you said that you was trying to honk at her to stop her, to slow her down, to try to get her to see reasoning. Yeah, those two sentences don't make sense. And then he says, All our secrets are out. I don't want to sit there and start off this life with any more secrets. And he tries to sound so sincere. You can tell there's a part of her that wants to believe in that sincerity. You see, the problem is, is the whole, all the secrets are out. The only reason why you're Smith is telling her this, you, you're only telling her this now because Xander brung it back up. Okay. The only reason why you're this thing, you're being so forthcoming and you, you want to be honest, you want to unburden yourself, you, you want to start off your life with no secrets is only because he's brought it back up. Because if he wasn't in town, you would have kept lying to her. And I think that's the part where it's like, she didn't call him out for that. She didn't sit there and say, the only reason why you're going to bring this up now is because he's back in town. And he won't let this go. So finally you said, oh, screw it. I'm out to sit there and tell her because eventually she's going to find out anyway. Nope, she just skipped over that whole part. I mean, that's the truth. That's the thing. <sighs> she says that she needs some time. She says that she does believe him. Kind of convenient that he decided to tell you the truth now, but sure, whatever. That's that's your take on it. But he's like, I believe you, but you need some time. And then he just starts professing his love to her, right? You changed me. It's different, and you can hear it. You can hear it in his voice how much he loves her, right? And that's the only, you know, I feel like, I feel like it speaks for people who's been in love. And that's the type of feeling that does not go away. That's, that's that one feeling that's so different from everything else that when you hear it from somebody else and you felt it, you know exactly what that's like. That's why I said there's so many different emotions that was going on in this one episode. <sighs> now we got to get to the Steffi end part. <laughs> the fun part. <clears throat> <clears throat> so 
So Finn is like, you know, I don't know. Xander Smith to tell me all this stuff. He sounds super sure. Steffi pulls the wife card. You should believe in me because I'm your wife. What the f does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I get married. I'm not going to sit there and believe everything she says simply because she's my wife. So that just sounds dumb off the jump. Okay? Yeah, Steffi, you are his wife. But you're also Thomas's sister. And people have a tendency of being blinded by the ones that are closest to us. So to sit there and say he should believe you because you're his wife, you're also his sister. And family has a tendency of being blindsided by each other. That's why when you get hurt by family, it hurts damn near way much than anyone else. You have that blind, that, that, that blind list, that, you know, that blind spot because you're supposed to be able to trust them no matter what because they're your blood. So, you know, you can excuse me with the whole I'm your wife BS. But she talks and she talks and she talks and Finn is like, okay, I'm going to sit there and drop it for you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so he just drops it. He's just like, you're my wife. And I'm just going to drop it. Only in a soap opera. You know. I'm going to sit there and say something. And it's going to sound like I'm being a dick. And it's really not. It's not meant to be. It's not meant for me to be a dick. It's just meant for me to sit there and give you some perspective from a male's point of view. When it comes towards marriage, there's a lot that you have to sit down and give up. Okay? There's a lot that you have to give up. There's certain things, when you weigh it, you know, the wife option usually comes better, but it's still stuff that you have to give up. Right? Being a bachelor. Going out with the guys. Trading in a sports car for a minivan. Okay? There's a lot of sacrifices that you got to sit there and make. When you decide to sit there and say, I do. And there's reasons why most men are very hesitant about marriage. Okay? Because part of me sat there and looked at that whole thing was like, so you just going to give up because she said so. It's just giving you some male perspective. Now, I'm not going to sit there and say that's for every man on the entire planet, okay? But for most of us, you know, giving up that part and practically turning into a quote-unquote yes man, not exactly really a lot of upside in that department of being married, I'm just saying. Yeah, he drops it. With everything else that's going on, Eric, Thomas and Hope being a thing, Sheila. You know, I guess I'll be kind of remiss without Cynthia mentioning the fact that while he had to give up a lot of stuff, she had to sit there and give up the fact that, well, I got to have Sheila in my life forever. So that's a sacrifice in itself. And I'll give Steffi that. If nothing else in this whole episode, I will give her that. Anyway, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else. 
But if I missed anything you know to do, come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows, General Hospital, Days of Our Lives, Born and Beautiful, Young and the Restless. Also, if you um, become a member, I do exclusive live streams for members only, exclusive videos for members, um, monthly member shout outs. So you're definitely going to be, you want to be a part of that. Plus, I do first takes for members before sometimes I sit there and talk about it with everyone else. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video.